Hey, Motor Man here. This week we're going to talk about what happens if you're afraid to lean your motorcycle. Now, since a motorcycle turns by leaning, if you're afraid to lean your motorcycle, you are in deep trouble out on the road. If all you could do is lean so slightly that your turns are gigantic, if you're driving down the city street at 30 or 40 miles an hour and you have to make a right or a left hand turn and you're afraid to lean that motorcycle, you're going to have to slow down to about five miles per hour or less in order to turn that bike without leaning. That creates a dangerous situation. Somebody behind you is going to have problems. Now this rider you see right here, this is Linda. And I've got to apologize for the photography, but I'm trying to teach the class at the same time I'm videoing. Her problem was she was scared to death of that motorcycle of any lean at all. The slightest lean would panic her and she straightened up the bike. She wanted to keep her speeds at five or below and most of the time it was about one to two miles per hour. You cannot lean the bike at that speed and that's why she'd maintain that speed. We had six riders in the class and four of them did very well and two of them had some serious problems and Linda was one of them. I'm gonna give her a private lesson uh, this week and, and see if we could turn this around for her. But during the class, it, it really, she could not get a good handle on any of this. Her fear level was so high. If your fear level is from one to 10, 10 being the highest, she was probably at a, a 10, maybe a 10 and a half. Here she is again. As soon as that bike starts to lean, she wants to straighten it up. Her speed here is about three miles per hour. And as she goes through the weave, she gets slower and slower until she can't possibly turn the motorcycle. This exercise is called the offset cone weave. It's a series of left turns and right turns. I've got the gates. The gate is the area between the green tip cone and the orange cone extremely wide just for her. And still, it's just about impossible for her to get through it. Now, by looking at this, you may say to yourself, well, this is a brand new rider, but actually she's been riding for many years. Uh, how? I really couldn't tell you out on the road, but uh, she's her speed is about uh, maybe one to one and a half miles an hour it's so slow that she's actually uh, able to duck walk the bike as soon as that bike starts to lean even the slightest bit she slows down or straightens up or puts a foot down she is scared to death of turning that motorcycle now we did our best to work with her th throughout the class and in some things she got slightly better but most of the time, it was that fear level holding her back. Now, Donna has already demonstrated the exercise two or three times, but she's going to demonstrate it again right here. Her speed, Donna's speed through here is between 8 and 12 miles per hour. Average probably about 10 miles per hour. And at that speed, it's impossible for the motorcycle to fall down. Now, here I'm telling her that She's tried it now at one mile an hour and she realizes or should realize that that didn't work. So please pick up some speed. Uh, I'm really pleading with her to pick up some speed. As you can see, once again, straight up. If the bike is straight up, your turns are gonna be gigantic. Right now with the, the way I have this set up for her, this is probably four times as much room you have is out on the street. It would be equivalent probably to a six lane highway. I don't think her problem is the friction zone because in order to go that slow and allow the motorcycle to move, you gotta be in the friction zone. It's strictly a high fear factor of leaning the bike. This is about the fourth or fifth time going through this exercise with Linda and we thought well maybe we can get her to follow Donna if she does that uh, she might pick up the speed a bit and she has picked it up but probably up to about three miles an hour which is not near fast enough and of course then she starts to slow down as the bike starts to lean when she's turning she gets back down to one or two miles per hour and can't make the turns we'll try anything to help a rider and just sometimes it's it's going to take longer. If you have a very high fear factor, you could still learn these techniques, but it is going to take longer. Now, I'll show you this next rider. This is, is his probably fourth to fifth time through the exercise. He's still going too slow, but he is about 
I'd say six miles per hour here. He needs to pick up the speed, but he's not really afraid to lean the motorcycle. He has good clutch throttle control, and he's able to make it inside the gates without a problem. He winds up being actually the best rider in the class, and you'll see that at the end as we take the riders through the snowman. Now we move on to the intersection exercise. And here I've got it set up at 30 feet wide with 36 foot long legs. Uh, the reason I did that is because I knew Linda and the other rider were gonna have some problems. I normally start at 27 feet and then narrow it down to 24, but here I started at 30 feet in an effort to build some confidence for her. As you see, this rider's doing a good job uh, leaning the motorcycle, turning his head and eyes, using all the space available, but they'll eventually get it down to 22 foot turns. In fact, some of them down to 20 foot turns as we got along. Uh, unfortunately, Linda was still had that high fear factor and even coming into the intersection and making the simple right hand turn, as you see here, not too bad, but you know, that she had to do her best to straighten up the motorcycle here. She straightens it and can't make a 30 foot U turn. All she's got to do here is make a right hand turn and the turn is so wide that if it was on the street she'd be in the opposite lane and she eventually rides out of the exercise now you're going to see a young lady come in here who who rode up with linda it initially had a pretty high fear factor herself but as she got more comfortable turning and leaning she really improved leaps and bounds at least 300 percent I actually had my doubts about her at the beginning as, as I saw her going through the slow cone weave, but look at her now. Here's the young lady I showed you earlier who started with a fairly high fear factor, but overcame her fears a little bit at a time. She's going through now the, what most people consider the most difficult exercise in the course, the snowman, and she's doing quite well. She's got the techniques pretty much down. She's not perfect, but we're not after perfection. We just want people to get a good handle on the techniques to be able to use their head and eyes, the friction zone and the rear brake, and to handle the bike with confidence. This is my goal for Linda. I'm gonna see her Wednesday and give her a private lesson. Stay tuned because I'll be posting those videos.